there are 10 different aspects of fitness that we need to develop. Strength, endurance, stamina, flexibility, power, speed, agility, balance, coordination, accuracy of movement. There's a whole bunch of things that our bodies need to be able to do in any given situation in life. Cardio is one aspect out of 10. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Coach Bronson here. Today's topic is cardio. One of the most common questions that I get is, do I have to do cardio or can I just worry about weight training? Because I tell people all the time, build muscle. And a lot of the clients and people that I work with are coming from the background of doing a ton of cardio. And they're wondering if they need to keep doing that or what's the best amount to do, things like that. So we're going to get into cardio. Do you need to do it or not? and talk about two of the main reasons or things that impact your decision on how much cardio you should do and if it's really helping you or not. Before we do that, I want to remind you to please subscribe to this channel, click on the little bell so you're notified every time I come out with a new video and help me help more people by growing this channel and getting the algorithm to get people in here and get the information that's going to help them get unstuck, find the solutions that works best for them and build more body confidence. So when we talk about cardio, one of the most common things, particularly in the keto carnivore space or in, in a lot of different communities in the health and fitness industry, social media, whatever, um, people say it's like a badge of honor to be able to say that you can lose weight on this diet or with this program without even having to work out. I, I didn't have to do anything and I just lost all the weight. All I did was change what I eat and then all of a sudden this weight magically comes off. I get that because we're trying to sell weight loss. We're trying to make it easy for people. We're trying to give people options that are magic pills and, and not what I'm trying to do. I'm saying that the industry as a whole is trying to sell things. So the easier they can make it, right? When we talk about sales and marketing, convenience is a huge factor in somebody's ability to sell a product. So the more convenient we can make the process, the more we're going to focus on that. So the message has become over the years that, um, again, this is one of the reasons why weight loss is one of the, uh, is the biggest note focus of health and fitness is because it's easy to sell. Weight loss is easy to sell. There are a million different ways that you can do that. There are a million different products. There are a million different um, messages and solutions that can be sold for weight loss. So selling a product and saying, hey, all you have to do is take this product or all you have to do is eat this certain way and you're going to lose weight creates an environment where people are going to do that. I want to pay money for that. All I got to do is this and lose weight. Great. I don't have to do cardio. I don't have to work out. I don't have to do any of this other extra stuff. Cool. Fantastic. There's a couple of problems with that. First off, the focus on weight loss is we've talked about it many times. It's misleading. It's not sustainable and it doesn't actually fix any problems. So the real solution that people most of the time, I won't say everybody gets there because not everybody reaches that level of realization in the journey or if they do, it takes them a long time to realize that there's more to the process than weight loss. Weight loss gets a lot of people in the door, and unfortunately, a lot of people get stuck in a cycle of trying to do things to lose weight, and cardio is one of them. Before they realize, hey, there's more to weight loss, and if I can fix the, the, the underlying foundational issues with my metabolism and my body's ability to function, then the weight loss will take care of itself, and they can get out of that cycle, out of that trap, out of wasting their time and money and increasing their stress about the whole process. The reason cardio is such a big question for people is because of that weight loss mentality. We've been told for years, move more, eat less, and that's what it's all about. Nobody's talking about function. So the biggest challenge, not the biggest, one of the bigger challenges 
that I have to work with many clients on is breaking the mindset of doing more. And that centers mostly around cardio. I deal with a lot of women who are doing 10,000 steps a day, as well as HIIT training or hot yoga or um, other types of consistent movement in an effort to lose weight and the issues that they're getting from this, from doing all this cardio and all of this stuff is adrenal fatigue, is hormone disruption, high cortisol, aches and pains, poor sleep, bad moods, depression, stress, anxiety, obsession with the scale, starving themselves, malnutrition, not eating enough food, not eating enough protein. There's a whole bunch of things that go into this. And here's the reason why. When we start with the premise that everything is about reducing ourselves, that's weight loss, then everything, every decision we make takes away. All of the decisions that you are making right now in an effort to lose weight are taking away from your life. They're not adding to it. They're taking away. You're doing more than you need to do. You're not giving your body enough rest and recovery. You're not giving it enough nutrition. You're not giving it enough strength and endurance to perform what it needs to perform, handle the stresses both internally and externally that you face every day. Everything you're doing is about taking away. The paradigm, the mindset shift that you need to make is how can I build my body up? What can I do to improve how my body performs in an effort to make it work better? And then when it works better, it will look better, right? We talk about this all the time. If you get fit, you will look fit. That's not the same thing as trying to lose weight. Fitness is a physical representation of metabolic health. I want you to think about that. Fitness is a physical representation of your body's ability to perform and the fact that it is metabolically functional. Okay? Focusing on weight loss does not improve function. In many cases, it promotes dysfunction, unfortunately. And that's why we have the problem that we have. People not being getting healthy and everybody following all of this stuff to lose weight and it's not working. So when we talk about cardio, how does cardio fit into all of this? Cardio for weight loss is a waste of time. So if you are doing a lot of cardio in an effort to lose weight, I would highly recommend that you chill out, back off, think about what can I do that's going to help me improve how my body performs. Hey, here's a couple of reasons why cardio is a waste of time. The number one reason why cardio is a waste of time. It's only one thing that your body does. We'd look at the components of fitness. There are 10 different aspects of fitness that we need to develop. Strength, endurance, stamina, flexibility, power, speed, agility, balance, coordination, accuracy of movement. There's a whole bunch of things that we need to, that our bodies need to be able to do in any given situation in life. Cardio is one aspect out of 10. Okay. Here's another thing. The movements that our body needs to perform, squatting, hinging, lunging, pushing, pulling, carrying, twisting, the resistance of twisting motion, all these different things that our body needs to perform, cardio is one out of seven. So now we've got 17 different aspects of physical performance and our ability to live our lives independently. And all we're doing is focusing on cardio to lose weight. We are leaving 15 aspects of our health on the table that we're not addressing at all. And we're wondering why nothing's getting better. Cardio for health is a different conversation than cardio for weight loss. If you're doing it for weight loss, think about why, why is weight loss your focus? How can I use cardio to improve my health? We'll talk about that in a second. Another reason why cardio is a waste of time to focus on solely as your fitness activity, diminishing returns. The whole idea of cardio as a fitness routine increases the amount of effort you have to put in to get a consistent improvement or response. Okay. You may start doing cardio. 30 minutes a day for a week. And then four months into it, you may realize, hey, my heart rate's not getting up as much. I'm not sweating as much. I'm able to go faster or I can go longer, whatever it may be. There's improvement in how your body performs to that effort. In order to improve, you have to go longer. 
in order to burn the same number of calories, you guys know I hate that word, in order to burn the same number of calories or get that energy expenditure that you're looking for from a fat loss or weight loss perspective, you have to go longer. So you go from 30 minutes a day to 40 minutes a day to an hour a day to an hour and a half a day where you have to do an hour a day of cardio on an elliptical or a rower or a bike or a Stairmaster or a treadmill. And you have to say, hey, how can I increase my step count per day? And now you're spending two, three, four hours a day trying to get the same burn that you used to get in 30 minutes because your body has become efficient at that work and it doesn't require as much energy. So the the returns that you're getting go down the more you do it because you're not actually building any metabolic improvement necessarily. Yeah, you're getting some, your resting heart rate goes down, you get better at, at, at low levels of effort. Okay. But here's what you're not doing. You're not building a foundation. You're not building a foundation of strength. You're not building a foundation of metabolic performance that can support itself, whether you're active or not. That's the key. Doing the other things in the fitness space, right? Building muscle, improving the movement patterns that we talked about, the seven essential movements, improving all the other aspects of of health, the 10 components of fitness, like I talked about, strength, stamina, speed, power, balance, agility, coordination, all of those things impact all of the aspects of your health, your biology and your physiology and your neurology, and improve your quality of life, even when you're not actively doing it. See, cardio simulates active and functioning metabolism while you're doing it. When you're not doing it, everything stops. And you go back to not having a functioning metabolism because you've trained your body to only work when you're doing something. Having a base of muscle, having a base of all these other aspects of fitness helps your body work better even when you're not actively working out. That's where the difference comes into play. So just something to think about. Another, another trouble, trouble area, another challenge that a lot of people have when they focus on cardio for weight loss is, again, because of those diminishing returns, now they're spending all their time doing cardio. They're spending all their time trying to get the impact, get the change, get the improvement in weight loss through the effort that they're doing, and it's not happening when they're not working out. So they have to work out all the time. So then what do we get? Now we get higher cortisol levels. We get poor sleep. We get overwork and overtraining. Now we start seeing a negative effect of the training to where not only are we not seeing the impact from a weight loss perspective that we're looking for, but now we're seeing other issues where now I can't sleep. Now I feel like crap all the time. Now I'm stressed. Now I'm getting aches and pains. I'm getting injured. I'm overtraining. All of the negative impacts because now you're not giving your body what it needs. You're not giving it the rest that it needs. You're not eating the foods and eating enough food in many cases because everything you're doing is focused on loss. Okay. So there's a need for cardio in your life. I'm not saying not to do cardio. The need for cardio should be balanced with the development of your overall fitness and metabolic function so that your body can perform in any given scenario that life may throw at you. It is not needed for fat loss or weight loss. Fixing your metabolism and balancing your cardio with strength training, with mobility, with sleep and recovery, with taking some days off, with doing other things to improve how your body moves, how well you can control how your body moves, and all the other aspects of fitness and health that is what's going to get you the body that you're looking for because you're now you're thinking about how can I give my body nutrition? How can I give my body the tools that it needs to function? How can I work my body in a way that's going to help me improve my physical independence? That means how can I actually help my body get fit and function properly? When you get fit, you will look fit. Okay. So when we talk about, when you guys hear me talk about Um, it's not about fat loss. This is what I'm talking about. The focus on growth and gaining is about adding to your life. And how can I grow? What can I do to grow? We don't grow a tree by not planting, by not watering it and not giving it food, right? If you, if you have a garden, you don't not water your garden. You don't just make it sit there and do whatever it can to get its own nutrients as much as possible. You want to feed it. You want to water it. You want to tend it. You want to pull the weeds out. You want to, weeds are like stress. We want to de-stress our garden. We want to give it the things that it needs in order to grow. 
right? We want to keep the bugs out. We want to keep the rabbits out, the deer, all those things. Like we have to tend to ourselves like we're a garden. How can I help my garden grow? Not I'm going to work my garden to death and then hope that I get the biggest, the biggest watermelon or the biggest tomato of the year. It doesn't work that way. I hope that helps get the message across, guys. You're probably doing more cardio than you need to. Focus on building function by eating enough and resting enough and building muscle and strength and movement. And you will see a lot more progress on your journey and it will be easier. It will be less stressful, less complex, and um, you'll enjoy the process a lot more. All right. Hope that helps everybody. As always, please subscribe, click the bell, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hey there, did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community, you can meet other people, you can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there, discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.